So guys, normally I do my big introduction before the investigation. We were so excited to get into this place. We just went in and we got right to it. But I do have to tell you, you are about to watch an amazing episode. We had a spirit medium Tiffany Rice along with us at the Payne House in Rhode Island. And oh my gosh, you just wait. We're at the Payne House in Coventry, Rhode Island. Um, we've been here for a little bit, kind of chilling in the basement. And um, Carter and Clayton have been out getting the drone footage. And I'm sitting here and something is telling me to go upstairs right now. So I grabbed Carter and I don't know why I'm crying, but we're going upstairs. Oh my gosh, the, I'm gonna hit my head on that like four times Does tonight. Let's go all the way up over here. Okay, when I got to the top of the stairs, covered in goosebumps, couldn't breathe. I don't know what it is. So we all have fun joking around about my crazy or empath abilities. But with renowned psychic medium Tiffany Rice on this hunt, I wanted to find out if these feelings I have are the real deal or am I just crazy? I can't catch my breath. What, what am I feeling? I don't understand what I'm feeling right now. Well, I think what's happening is that there is um, somebody here that is constantly here in this house and she tends to grab your hand and bring you around. Children's spirit have that energy of, it's almost like butterflies in your oh, belly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but and yeah. it's just their energy because think about it, a uh, five, six year old that is in physical form here, how's their energy? It's so vibrant, and you know? Bouncy, yeah. So it's constantly go, 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 and that's what you're feeling, that's that. That feeling. Yeah. And so the, the tears reason, are happy tears. Happy tears. Okay. No, I was sitting downstairs and I yeah, literally she felt like, like she on, was pulling me Let's go. Me up. Up. I'm yep. sick of waiting for you. Let's go. Yep. Let's go. Absolutely. Oh God, I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> this I feel very light and very very comfortable in here. There's so many little rooms in here that it's um, each room has its own story. Just yes, like you always because say. these places have a story. Yes, <laughs> each, each place has its own story. Because you, you take what I've been feeling for five years <laughs> and you make it make sense. So thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. I don't know much about the history of uh -huh. New England. Um, are, would there have been servants' quarters? Yes. Okay. Would it yes. be this side of the house? It's funny because, and I know Ken can probably back us up on this, um, however, I remember going into that room and feeling a young male energy that used to stay there because it was considered transient. Am I yeah. using the right word? Yeah, very, <laughs> so, very much so. Um, I, I felt like there was a young male in that room, and I've always sensed this young male presence in that room. Okay. And I think he just stayed here. Like, it was just a passerby, I'm staying here for a few nights. I didn't feel a gender, mm -hmm. but as I told you, I had one of those servant girls follow me home from Culbertson, and she, she really likes it in there. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. And Just this is not crazy. No, you're not crazy. <laughs> you're not crazy. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, mm This is so exciting for us because this is feelings and experiences that we felt all along and the fact that you're experiencing this for the first time, it just offers so much more validation. Do kids play up here? Keep going with it. I see a antique rocking horse kind of theme, -ish, like toys, I see toys. That makes sense. Okay. We still have the whole downstairs to go there too. So, but I'm proud of you because you're trusting your gut and your gut's leading you in the right direction. <laughs> and you'll understand why. Okay. So right, this is right now we just you're going in cold. So this is right. Why. No, and this is an experience I need to have, okay. especially with my little coach here with me too. <laughs> I don't, I don't feel like I'm being pulled anywhere anymore. This is all new to me. I, I just want you to know that in case I'm wrong. 
Um, I wanted to stop here, but she was pulling me upstairs. Right. When you say she, child, adult. You know, now that you say it, I think it, it was a child. Okay. I, I feel like... First thought, child. Yep. First thought, child. Yep. Yes. Yep. But when you said about the clothes in the room, that was definitely, the, the tears was a, a, an older woman. Okay. Yep. Yes. And now the child is, is all I feel right now. Okay, let me ask you this. When you say child, uh, you got like any kind of an idea what age you're Eight. Eight. Okay. 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 See, Ken and I know. Yeah. You, you know more, but Yeah, so we're just like pushing you. No, you push, this. push. I, I've yep. needed this. No, for five I don't years. mind you asking questions after the fact. Okay. Be it, before that, we know the drill. It's just kind of like, no, you don't. Yeah, and I, I've, I've never had an audience doing this. Before. That's okay. <laughs> That's fine. Does she hold your ha hold people's hands? Did, yes. I, did you say that? Because I feel yes. it right now. I mean, obviously, this was a school room. Is there a cat in here? That's what I just heard, too. Me too. Was that somebody's stomach? No, I heard a cat, too. Uh, it sounded like a cat. That was in your stomach, right? No, no, no. no that, was a, that was definitely a cat. Maybe it's in here. The cat yeah. sounded like it was in the... Yeah. The yeah. thing is, like that we'll have that on yes, here. Yes, for sure. I know if there were a cat here because I'd need my inhaler. Me too. Right now. That's true. Yeah. My yeah. allergies would be bad. Yeah. <laughs> I love this room. Should be a light so switch right there. Somewhere. Ooh, that just oh, killed my cat. I don't want to leave here. Children's room. That baby, not okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love the baby. Oh, all the dolls, not okay. <laughs> this is a very happy room. This, I believe, um, and I can ask Ken, but I believe it was a birthing room. Or at least I thought it was the birthing room. Okay. This, this feels like very, very happy things happened here. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Like I said, I walked in and I don't, I didn't want to leave. So. Right. You might not have caught that, but the camera sure did. Did you catch the disembodied voice reminding me to say thank you? Right. Right. More dolls. Creepy dolls. That not was stupid. Creepy. That says the bird She's talking. This is huge. This is the first time the voices in my head were actually backed up by our audio. What do you think she's saying? These baby dolls in here don't talk, do they? No. They're old. They can't. No. They do, we have a story. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they just know I'm actually listening now. I'll get Ken and he can give you a little bit more of a rundown then. Yes. Because I can go on to and tell you the feelings that I've had, but Ken knows the facts. Right. Yes, so let's do that. Good. First and foremost, thank you so much for letting us well, in. It's here. a great pleasure to have you here. Tell us a little bit about your history with the house. Uh, in 2010, we were invited here because of some of the weird phenomena that was going on. Our group, Rise Up Paranormal. So we came in and documented, had cameras running within five minutes. We were down in the basement taking a tour with the vice president, and we heard a little girl's voice say, I hear them coming. So we record this, <laughs> and two things pop into our mind. Number one, they're aware of our presence. Yeah. And the second thing is, who is she alerting? So that was you know, six years ago that we've been doing this. So we've been able to really do a case study here. 
under different conditions, environmental weather conditions, you know, all female, all male, mixed groups, you know, you know thunder and lightning, absolutely care, sweltering, ice cold, yes. to see if that has anything to do with it. I've been doing this for about 40 years. We've had the group for 10. But the thing I'll say generally is that this was a very transient place. There were people in and out of it, and it really was the hub of all activity here in Coventry until the town was built up. This was the hospital, the bar, the courtroom, the schoolroom. What happened here, this was turned into a stagecoach stop. Between Boston and Hartford, Connecticut, this was the halfway point. So one of the guys, Francis Brayton Jr., had this business plan that <clears throat> because they were blacksmiths by trade, they were able to stable the horses, they were able to shoe the horses, give people a place to spend the night. And this stayed a tavern through maybe four different incarnations of people. Whoever took it over kept it. The Braytons opened the tavern, the Holdens opened the tavern, the Whipples opened the tavern, and then Phoebe Payne came along, and they actually gave her, as a woman, a liquor license, which was unheard of, but they really wanted their bar. And she had the money, and she bought it, and she kept it that way. Hashtag girl power. It's a museum, but it's a living museum, which means that uh, you can pick things up and examine them and things like that. Um, that's what brought us here to run public events because unlike a ghost tour where they have you looking in the window and nothing ever shows up, we always wanted to go inside the place. Yeah. You know, so that's what we've afforded people the opportunity to do. I wish you guys the best of luck tonight. <laughs>
turn this one off for now. Make sure the IR light goes on. Yep. Let me know what I can check. Richard. Uh, what do you hear? Kitsy. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. No, I kind of heard it. You're Kitsy? I am Kitsy. Who are you? Would anyone here like to speak to us tonight? No. Oh. Yeah. Might be a good idea. Let's go. Let's just do it. All right. 
evening. When we went upstairs, we left a camera pointed toward the hallway. After the spirit box saying both hallway and behind you, we thought it might be a good idea. Is there a nanny here? Behind you. I'm not going to look behind me. <laughs> and boy, was it. After about nine minutes of sitting there pointed at the hallway, this mist appears right behind the chair I was sitting in. It flows gently in and out for several minutes. The footage has been brightened up, but in no other way tampered with or manipulated. You can plainly see it's behind this chair. At first, we thought this might be matrixing of some sort until it manifests a second time in the exact same spot, in the exact same form, for another full minute. Until it just disappears again, just as mysteriously as it appeared. This time, though, for good. This could honestly be the most impressive documentation of a spirit we have ever seen. We'd love to know your thoughts. Head on over to oddityfiles.com and give us your feedback. We head upstairs to see if we can find out what all the noise up there was. This would be the room right above where we were, right? Yep. Yep. Yes. That's the room. It just said yes. It just said yes. Yeah, there's the activity. Is it the holding family they were asking about? Did you leave that GoPro in the hallway? It's on top of you. Hold him. Hold him. Holy crap. That was crazy. It's, it's funny, after a while, you start to understand it more. I don't know right. if they come through stronger or if you just get used to it. Who is making all the noise up here? What's your favorite thing about us being here? The people. The people? That's good. That so means they like having us around. Yeah. So do you have anything you want to tell us about this? I love it. I love it. But I thought, why? Yeah, I heard why. We just want to know your story. That's why we're asking you to tell us something. We, we want to know your name. We want to know why you're here. Is that okay? David. 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 Did you say what? Tiffany? Yes. What do you have to tell Tiffany? <laughs> but I heard one, uh, one syllable and then I heard three syllables. Yes. Try something that both are used to. Okay. Up here. Um, we were hearing a lot of footsteps while we were downstairs. That was crazy. We were hearing a lot of footsteps while we were downstairs. Um, you know, there's a lot of little trinkets and, and glass and things all over these rooms. If there is, in fact, someone in this room with us, can you, can you let us know? You can knock on a wall. That wasn't you guys? No. Can you come into this room? To the spirit in the room behind us. Can you step in here, please? It's okay, there's nothing to be scared of. Tiffany, are you hearing a little girl? 
No. Those kids have to have to be in bed, right? Oh yeah. You're just crazy, mom. Nothing goes like through the, there's no other doors in that room to go. Yeah, it room. sounded like either the door moved or something knocked over. <laughs> now I'm just shooting myself. <laughs> There are a lot of people in this room. You can feel free to draw the energy from us, from our devices, from the batteries. Do you think you can step in here for me? I'm going to turn this device on. And when I do, I need you to come over here and I need you to tell me your name. Who just stepped into the room with us? I've been making noises in that back room back there. Who are you standing next to? It's so weird how I don't like turn it on and I'll be super active and then it just goes silent. I forget. I heard I forget. Jack. Is this Jack? <laughs> That's what I heard was Jack. Are you here with us in this room, Jack, or are you somewhere else in the house? So I'm going to explain something to you really quickly, for those of you that don't understand how to use this. You're supposed to be able to take the voices that are coming over and the white noise and be able to manipulate that to say what you want to us. I heard they're coming. How many people are coming? Ten. Ten. I heard Diana. I heard Ten. <laughs> I heard Ten. <laughs> Hold on. There's more coming. Where are they coming from? Are you guys patrons from the tavern? Can I buy you a drink, Sailor? What's your drink of choice? That was like a bunch of different people trying to come through. Yep. Yeah. 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 You're right, they do like to Can you tell us what brought you to the house? Why are you here? So what was your occupation? A, a sailor? Something just traveled like right here. As I was turning my head, that's why I. I it's weird. It's a little light. Light. I heard plate. I heard plate. I did. Did you just show yourself to me? We're gonna turn this off for a minute, guys. We're gonna something I think you're a little more familiar with. Okay, so what I would like to do here, though, is I'd like to talk to my little girl if she's here. I'm start the recorder. Sarah, sweetie, you know you're safe with me. If you can come over, I want you to meet my friends here. Can you come into the room and say hello, please? I just want you to come in and say hello. There's some people here who want to meet you, that want to play with you. I hear her. With my ears. Well, I think it's outside. Yeah, that sounded like a car that... Oh, it's 10.45 on the school night. Did school start here yet? No. Oh. So I always ask you this question, I'm going to ask it again tonight because it matters to me. Honey, are you happy?
Have you tried to talk to us tonight? You hear it? I hear. I don't know what she's saying, but I hear. Do you like it when people come to see you and try to talk to you? Does it make you happy? There was something right after that. Rewind. Okay. Let's hear it again. Do you like it when people come to see you and try to talk to you? Does it make you happy? There was a. <sighs> yeah. And again. One more time. second one and play it for him. He's been doing this for 40 years. We've been doing it for eight. <laughs> Anybody's feet shuffling on the mm -hmm. floor. Mm -hmm. but it's a I don't know what that second noise is. It was louder, but the same thing ish. So we just investigated the pain house, and that was really the first time we investigated somewhere out of state and kind of really far away. That was all the way in Rhode Island. Really cool place, really neat to see. The structure of it was really neat. Uh, we got some spear box activity, uh, but like we used the wonder box all night, got all kinds of stuff. Um, and it was pretty cool. The, the location itself was really small um, and condensed, which kind of gave you a claustrophobic feel all the time. The ceilings were just a couple inches over my head. So work brought us out to Boston and a couple friends of ours are out from that area and they hooked us up with an investigation at the Pain House. Thanks Tiff and Sarah. Um, it was so cool to be in this house that was built so long ago and nothing has really been updated to it. I guess it had started out where it was a tavern and um, kind of a hotel type place. It was a different kind of investigation though. We had a lot more people there than usual, so it was kind of a different vibe going on. Uh, it was fun, but I definitely prefer like the three-man groups because I feel like you get a little more activity from things like that. Personally, I didn't have a lot of experience, um, a lot of experiences. Uh, again, like I said, the, the location itself was very, very cool, um, but I just remember dozing off a lot. <laughs> you know Tiffany, she did the FaceTime reading with us at Glenn's house in the past. And so Tiffany's a, a very reputable and probably one of the most spot on spirit mediums I've ever met in my life. And she kind of took it upon herself to kind of walk me through the building. And honestly, it was kind of my test to see if I am 
really crazy or if these feelings I get, if there's something to them. Big relief, I'm not gonna lie, because I was really starting to think that I was, I also got to experience a spirit medium reading for the first time, and that was kind of a different experience because I've never seen anything like that happen. And um, Tiffany did it with Clayton, and just some of the things that happened were like pretty real and pretty spot on, and it just kind of made everything click and made me realize that people actually do have gifts sometimes. And actually, while we were at Payne House, um, the gentleman that looks over the location, he was he told us something that I've since like carried on um, that the spirits and whatever we're interacting with they they don't want to be like called out or asked to perform tricks they just want to be a part of like what's going on so that's why we'll just be talking to one another just like they would be in the room with us and so just carry on a normal conversation um, and it's it's actually it works um, it's crazy wouldn't the three of us are just sitting here, or sitting around talking to one another, and all of a sudden we start getting activity. Um, that's we have Pain House, uh, the folks at Pain House, to thank for that. We had some great Wonder Box activity at the house as well, and learned a lot actually because uh, there were some people who have been investigating a long time, and they had different theories and different things they use while investigating, and we've actually started using that in our investigations. Hmm, ever wanted to investigate with the Oddity Files crew? Are you sure about that? Well, kids, this is your shot. And the device I'm holding my hand. Super limited and totally exclusive. Investigate with the Oddity Files crew. Tickets at oddityfiles.com. First of all, in Australia, and we are at the Parramatta Jail. Wait, get the camera! Jails scare the shit out of me. Do you want me to lock it? Um, yeah, sure, go ahead and lock it. I'm not gonna lie, um, been a little, little nervous about this one. Carter is not here, so it's Clayton and I, and it, it's gonna be intense. I have never experienced something like this before. It's like the definition of residual energy. Come out, come out, wherever you are. 